When I was in eighth grade, I was, you know, always watching and I was playing basketball. I was watching kind of the, the varsity basketball team at the high school I was going to go to. And there was this one guy who looked like, you know, the most incredible athlete I've ever seen. And to this day, I still think he's probably one of the greatest athletes I've ever seen. I mean, he could do, he could jump as high as anyone could ever jump. He could 360 dunk. He could do anything on the basketball court at will during practice. But when he got in the game, it's like he played, uh, you know, a half version of what he was capable of every time. Oh, no. It's like he didn't believe in himself. And everyone around him was like, you're incredible. You're the best. You're, you know, you're a freak of nature athlete. You can do anything at will. You can score at any time. But he didn't believe he could. And so he would do it in practice. But in the games, he would always fall short. And I was like, just give me a fraction of your talent, please. Because... You know, it didn't matter if the world is against you or doesn't believe in you. If you can believe in yourself, then you can do great things like you've done, Megan. But here's here's the the sad thing is that it doesn't matter if 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 you don't believe in yourself and the world does believe in you, you're not going to be able to do it. So we must yes. give either the encouragement from others to put it into ourselves or we must take it from within and put it outward. But you, you had encouraging parents, but you also were encouraged internally, which I think was powerful. You're so right. And I know in your book, you mentioned Jason Redman, uh, who was uh -huh. injured gravely and shot through the eye and put up the sign on the outside, like, do not come in here if it's to feel sorry for me. This is a positive place. He believed he could recover. He defined what that would mean for him. And I met him years and years ago, it was like 2009 or 10, at a Navy SEALs benefit. And I, that's like, that's what the SEALs say. Say, I can't. Say, I can't. Like, they, their whole mentality is, the more you tell me I can't do it, the more I guarantee you I can. That's, that's who's mm. attracted to the SEALs. That's the kind of mentality that the SEALs organization is attracted to. It's one of the reasons the SEALs are so incredible. They've got the thing that you're saying is the magic. But not everybody has it. And it's mm -hmm. gettable. Just because if you're not a SEAL, you don't have the mentality, say, I can't. Right. It's gettable. That's kind of the main theme of your book. And it, it kind of helps people figure out, how do I get it? Yeah, there, there are three main causes of self-doubt, in my opinion, from kind of all the, the, the people that I've studied and all the experts and all the world-class athletes and the billionaires. You know, a lot of people that you know as well, there's, there's these three main fears uh, that causes people to really hold back from taking action on what they want, whether it's in the relationship with the career or launching the business or whatever it is that they feel inside they're called to do, but they're afraid. There are three main fears that cause them to doubt themselves. The first fear, which is a lot of people have, is the fear of failure. And as an athlete, Megan, growing up, I, I learned quickly that failure was just the path to success. It was just, this is the necessary steps you got to take. You're going to miss the shot when you shoot it. You're going to you're gonna drop a ball when you're trying to play football. It's just going to happen. And this is information. It's feedback telling you what you need to do to improve, to accomplish your goals. So I understood that from coaches that taught me this. But a lot of people are just afraid of failure. And so they won't take the actions. That was never my fear. I had another one. The second fear is the fear of success. I always wanted to succeed, Megan. I wasn't, that wasn't my fear. I was like, I want to be someone. I want to make something of myself because I didn't love myself enough. So I felt like I needed something externally to fill it internally what I was missing. So I was like driven by success. And I love to get closer to it and accomplish it. But as I started to do this research, really over the last 10 years of, of my show and interviewing people, I realized that so many people are afraid of success. And when I'll speak in public and I'll ask people who here is afraid of the success, most of the room raises their hand, maybe like 67%. Really? And it always kind of blows me away. But the more I studied this, it, it makes sense because there was a documentary, Megan, called The Weight of Gold, which is about Olympic gold medalists who go through – um, you know, depression, anxiety, they go through overdosing, they get on drugs or committing suicide within, you know, six to 12 months after winning the Olympic gold medal. There is a wow. pressure to success that a lot of people aren't prepared for, and they haven't been taught how to manage. There is, I'm sure you've experienced this in different levels when you became more well-known, more famous, more financially successful. Um, 
there might have been people trying to pull you down or maybe people saying, hey, out from high school or college saying, hey, I need some money or can you help me out here? There are different things that might happen to us as we become more successful where people doubt us. They try to pull us back down to their comfort level. They criticize us. You're just more available to that criticism and people don't like it. It's uncomfortable. It can be lonely at the top, people say. If you're like me, you're growing more and more concerned about the future. The market is all over the place and inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates are skyrocketing. Market experts not only predict a recession, but they're using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. If you want to protect your future, consider the precious metal dealer, American Hartford Gold. They can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. All it takes to get started is a short phone call and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or inside your IRA or 401k. And they keep it simple. This is the highest rated firm in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied clients. And now as an exclusive offer for our fans, if you call them right now, they're going to give you up to $1,500 of free silver and a free safe too on qualifying orders. So don't wait, call now. Call 866-518-2955, 866-518-2955, or text MEGAN, that's M-E-G-Y-N, to 65532. Again, call 866-518-2955 or text M-E-G-Y-N to 65532. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.